You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another fun episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode 891. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We appreciate it. We've got a question that I bet a lot of you are wondering about how to uh, overcome. Ooh, I would I'm, I'm interested as well. Um, again, uh, we wanted to say a special thanks to a couple of our sponsors for this question. Hello, everybody. I want to tell you again about our friends over at Fortress UAV. As we've told you before, they're doing a fantastic job of getting drones back in the air that have been crashed or for some other reason are inoperable. So if you've got a drone that fits that bill, you're going to want to check them out at fortressuav.com slash drone you. But you know, they've also got a new program in place. It's called Fortress UAV Protect. This is a nose to tail preventive maintenance program for your drone or your fleet of drones that rivals those of manned aircraft maintenance services, meaning they're going deep to make sure your drone stays in the air and operates effectively. Currently, they're working on Mavic Pros, Phantom 4s, Inspire 1s and 2s, the Matrice 600 series, and the Matrice 200 series. What I like about this idea of having your drones maintained by Fortress UAV is that they have a unique perspective on what maintenance needs to look like because they're fixing them every single day. They're seeing what's going wrong and they know how to preventively maintain against those issues. A few of the points that they're gonna take a look at, they're gonna visually inspect all of the moving parts in your drone. They're gonna inspect wiring. They're gonna clean any dirt and debris that is gathered in your drone. They're gonna run key performance tests. They're gonna upgrade software unless you ask them not to for some reason. And they're gonna calibrate your drone in all the ways that is necessary. And they're gonna replace any consumables that your drone needs to have replaced. And they're gonna do that, of course, based on the drone type that you send in. So guys, check them out if you've got maybe one drone and you just don't have time to take care of the maintenance on a regular basis, or you've got a fleet of drones, you're an organization that has a lot of drones and it's taking way too much time and cost of your people to maintain it. These guys are gonna be a great option for you. So again, check them out at fortressuav.com slash drone you. And if you do decide to use their services, put in the coupon code drone you, all caps, for a 10% discount. We think they can be a big help to you. FortressUAV.com slash DroneU. And another one of those sponsors are your friends here at DroneU. If you haven't checked out the business course or any of our newer courses that we've been coming out with, you got to check it out now. Go to DroneU.education where you'll also get instant access to the DroneU community. You can also try it for just $1. Go to DroneU.education. Hi, this is John. I just watched you, two of you on a very interesting podcast about unlocking drones in the CGI geo zones. In Canada, the red zone is off limits, but the yellow zone requires that 72 hour plus authorization process. And I was interested, particular question on you talk about the app when you're talking about unlocking yourself without the DJI process. And I'm wondering if that's the low limit drones.com app or another app really love to get an answer to this and my website in case you want to verify me a little bit is magic light photo dot ca that's for canada awesome thank you john really appreciate the question appreciate you listening and like i said a lot of folks i think are wondering how they can do this and uh, be more productive Well, just to be clear, we actually have a video coming out on how to unlock a red zone. A red zone is typically a DOD zone, and some of the zones have been extended beyond what they're actually supposed to cover. Um, We also talk about when you do have authorization, um, what you can do. Essentially, it's the workflow and process of how to unlock the area. Now, typically how you do it is through the DJI uh, website, through dji.com forward slash fly safe. And you go through that way. I'm not going to go through the process on this show. If you want to check it out, just go to our website, DroneU.Education, um, and just you know search how to unlock a red zone, and you should be able to pull it up. Now, that being said, the uh, you know he he asks about in Canada in a red zone. Um, you know there I'm sure there are protocols, but this is how to unlock a red zone is not really done through an app. Again, it's done online. You can try to do it through 
your application, but for custom zones like red zones, you typically cannot do it. Now he's asking about Canada. You typically need 72 hours to unlock a yellow zone to go through Transport Canada. Going through Transport Canada is one thing you need to get. Um, you need to get approval from them before you unlock a zone on DJI, because DJI you typically have to send in a couple documents saying that you have permission, providing an area of the map or in the United States, the UAS FM. But I do just want to preface that every time you want to unlock a red zone, it's going to be different depending on what country you are in. Typically, we're talking about the United States here in this podcast, but we do know a lot of our members are international, and we do need to cater them to them as well. Uh, and with that being said, the process, again, is always state agency first, then DJI. I think that is a pretty succinct answer. Pretty straightforward. And if There's they not do really much else to say unless I missed the point of his question. No, I, don't, I mean, he was asking specifically which app, but I think you're saying you just do it through DJI's app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where now, it happens. Now, if you're trying to get, like, you're trying to fly in an area in the United States and you need LANC capability, then maybe you'll try Kitty Hawk. So. Okay. So, but it's a process and you go into it in the video that you guys did and that, now, are we putting that on for members only? Or is that going to be for everybody? I think it's members only. Okay. Yeah, I think it's members only. All so. right. Well, that gives us an opportunity to tell you about our 14 days for $1 trial period, because <laughs> <laughs> if you're uh, wanting to get that information, and I would assume that video will be up relatively soon. It's not yes, on the site yet, but correct. it'll be in uh, probably in the resources section soon. The, and when I say soon, I would say 15 days at the most. Fair? Very fair. Yeah, yeah okay. I think it should be fair. Yeah, so you'd want to... Get in and, and check that out. And hopefully stick around, join the community, be a part of what we're doing here at DroneU because um, it's a great group. A lot of folks, it, what I love about it, and we've said this over the years, but it continues to be the case to an even, an even deeper degree is we've got everybody from the guy who just started flying yesterday and loves the idea of having a business based on something he loves doing to the guys who have been doing it for years who've been flying RC vehicles for years and years and years, got into drones a few years back, and they're in there as well, helping the new guy, helping each other, and uh, all done in a cordial, respectful way. It's it's a phenomenal group of people, so that's what you'd have access to. Yeah, you could. Just uh, sign up today if you don't. And for those who have tried us before and you want more, well, now the business course is up and 33 other classes on top of that. So check it out. That is going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs>